What's up, what's up everybody? It's time for another Europe server video. Today we are going to be building the Dark Vampire Lord. Not even for the memes, not even as a joke, not even to be like, maybe we can make him good. We're actually going to build him because he is the decent unit for- We're gonna- we're gonna try to improve our Rift Beast times, right? Times? We're, scores. It's not timed. It's not that we're, we're gonna try to improve our Rift Beast scores and he's a great unit to improve Rift Beasts. Uh, because he's got, not only does he have an attack power leader skill, but he also has a three turn attack power buff. This used to be two turns, didn't it? It used to be two turns and it was not as good as it is now. Uh, let's take a brief look at what he does. I think he's just, he's no, not upgraded at all. Um, and he's still on the same runes that we got him on in the beginning, I believe. So, because uh, on this account, I think we played with him on the main. I think we six starred him and we upgraded him and we did some stuff with him on the main. But I, in a balance patch at some point, they increased this to uh, three turns. So that actually makes him viable for Rift Beasts. Uh, and the leader skill, 38% attack power leader skill. This is only, the only things that are better than this are like, the like for Rift Beasts, uh, things that you might want to use for Rift Beasts. Our Perna's attack power leader skill is 44%, and then the uh, the Nine Tail Foxes are 40%, but they're all element specific. There's like the wind one is only wind units, 40%. So uh, this is actually a really, really good Rift Beast unit. You're not going to want to run him like in every single thing, like for endgame. You're like, well, let me do uh, Giants Beat. I mean, you can use him in Giants Beat. I say that as a joke, but I'm like, you know, you can actually use him in Giants Beat. Anyway, we're going to build him for Rift Beast. We want to try to improve our Rift Beast scores. He's got this, he got the uh, uh, heals over here. He's got the Weaken. So the Weaken, we don't really care about the Weaken for Rift Beast because we can only do... We don't, but we do, right? Because we can only do de uh, debuffs to them in... We have the uh, attack power, the speed, and the block beneficial effects as the debuffs. And we can only do it to them in their groggy state. However, and, and, and it doesn't matter because they're not going to be attacking us. They're not going to be getting beneficial effects in Groggy State. So uh, the, the difference is, though, that for things that are based on the amount of enemy debuffs, this is going to be just three extra debuffs for those units to do more damage. And we want to do a lot of damage. That's, that's the end game, right? That's the, that's the name of the game. And then we have this. This is nice because not only is it a three turn attack power buff, which three turns is, f it is a huge difference between three turn and two turn. It seems like, oh, it's only one turn, right? If it's an arena offense, it doesn't matter. You're just, if you're buffing attack power for your Lucian, three turns and two turns, they're both good, right? But if you need a consistent attack power buff over a long period of time, like Rift Beasts, if you're going to be, it's a good long drawn out battle, uh, this is a big difference. Three turns and two turns is a big difference. And of course we need this cooldown. That's also going to make a big difference. So, we don't care about this, uh, skill ups on this. We don't care about, hey, you know what, the harmful effect rate would be nice to get up. And the cool time turn for, this, this would be nice, but this is a mandatory. This blood contract is a mandatory. On the bright side is we can feed him vampires. They're somewhere. <laughs> I think they're in, they're in storage. Right, we can feed him. Oh no, they're here. They're here. So we're gonna uh, upgrade him with two of these vampires, and I think we have another vampire storage or something like that. Anyway, we're gonna upgrade him with those, so that he gets some uh, skills while he gets uh, while he gets six starred, and then we're gonna take him in. Let's try to rune him because he's on just the normal stuff. So the way I would like to rune him for here is just fatal. I mean, not fatal. <laughs> just fatal. Okay, Vega. Just fatal. Uh, fight. So that one, this one really doesn't have a lot of stats. It has speed, crit rate, and accuracy. Like, he needs those things, but we need better stats on him. We need better stats. This is just speed. We don't care that much about speed in Rift Beasts. We, we need damage output, right? We need damage output. Uh, this is not bad. It's got the crit, but we still need more. We still need more stats. This is just, there's not enough stats on these runes. This is okay. This is okay, because we can't get attack power on this anyway. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll see. What kind of fight runes do we have for slot two? We got some poo poos, and we got some, these are for, hmm. If we can't get fight runes on him, we can get the, sometimes even crappy fight runes are actually good. I know you're like, Bagel, those are terrible fight runes, but for a lot of fight units, uh, like for, for example, these weird things, these are on, does he need to be- wait, 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 This is actually decent stats for the water- He's a three-star water war bear. Uh, this is for R5, right? This is for the, uh, the Baylagar R5 thing. 
Uh, so that's why, if you guys couldn't already tell, uh, we we can take this off for sure. It's kind of just funny to see some of these things on here. We definitely let's upgrade this. We'll definitely we'll, we'll we'll try to put fight on him, and we can also the nice thing about these uh these rift beasts is the new I say new sets, but like the hold on, let me show you the sets. They're not new sets. Uh. Not tolerance, because we don't care that much about the tolerance, right? Because tolerance is just resistance. So we don't care about the tolerance. Uh, enhance determination, because determination is defense. Um, fight runes is the preferable, is like the number one thing for Rift Beast, right? And then enhance is uh, HP. So we care about the enhance, we care about the determination, we care about the fight runes. Um, so we'll try to put those... What I always refer to as new rune sets, even though they're several years old now. So new rune sets doesn't even make any sense. We'll try to rune him up. We'll do an attack or damage attack with as much just stat efficiency as possible. With new rune sets would be the premium for him. Let's go through. Let's six star him. Let's upgrade his runes. I'll take this off. Um, I think we have enough stuff to build these vampires. Am I correct? Yeah, we have a few of these, uh, I'm not gonna do that, but we have a few of these. We'll do... Nope, not that. We'll do these, we'll do the other vampire, we'll six star him, we'll max level him, we'll rune him up, and then we'll see what we can, uh, what we can make him do. Alright, we're back, we ruined him up, we still have to gem and grind him. Remember, right now he's still at five stars, so he still has five star stats, we have to feed the rest of the vampires to him to scale him up. He is currently on Fight Determination Blade, kind of a bruiser, so we're gonna stick him in the front line. I wanted to see if we can make him attack, crit damage attack, uh, and then just have the HP and subs, but we weren't able to do it. We still have to... Uh, this rune's not that bad, though. Did we show this rune? Was this on something else? I don't know. No, I think that was uh, a different rune on something else. Anyway, we're gonna gem and grind this guy up, uh, and then we're gonna six star him, and we're gonna see what we can make him look like after we are done. And we, we, we uh, built all the vampires, so we, did, we didn't build them, we five-starred them, so they could, uh, so we could feed these to him at the same time, so we're efficient, six-starring, and scaling up at the same time. We got Weaken, we got Blood Contract, uh, oh, so that's, that's maxed, right? That's maxed. That's maxed, baby. All right, nice. And we don't have, I want to have that Super Angel Mon ready for him, but we don't have a Super Angel Mon ready for him. We were, we, we, we didn't have enough points in either the event shop or the... Let's do this, let's see if we get some lightning, no lightning. But we do have this. Looks lightning. No lightning. Okay, so we still have to level him up a little bit more. But I think that third skill is skilled up, right? Actually, I'm gonna care later on. I'm gonna be like, I need more two stars. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I was doing that. Uh, yeah, we oh, we also have another event shop for special. I hope that I, I, I put this on YouTube at the right time so this makes sense. We have another, we have this uh, refund event going on right now, which just started, right? So we can collect this, we can collect some coins, uh, some six year anniversary coins. We get refunded energy in total. We get all these little goodies here. Uh, and then we get, if we, if we uh, use Symbol of Harmony, Symbol of Transcendence, Symbol of Chaos, we get more as well. So, very nice. And then Glory Points, Guild Points, Rune Pieces. The more you just use stuff, right? The more you just use stuff in general, the more you get back. Dimensional Crystal. <laughs> we, used, we used all of those already. Well, we were, you know what? That's uh, actually nice. That we got all those, uh, we got that mana back. Because we're going to need it, right? We're going to need it. So let's take a look at uh, his stats right now. Well, he's still not max level. We have to give him 10 more levels. Let's see. Do we have a grind? No, we don't have a grind for that. Do we have any? No, we don't have any for that. We have some for this. So we'll do a purple here. And we'll see. Nice. I don't want to throw a bunch into these, but... <laughs> Come on. Come on, game! Come on! Okay. We'll do one of these. And we'll do, um... Do we have anything good here? We can get that crit rate. Ah, uh, actually, we need we need a little bit of accuracy, don't we? 
Because he still does have three debuffs. Yeah, I don't want to throw away all that accuracy. Uh, can we upgrade this? Can we get a six? If we don't get a six... Yeah, okay. We'll just use a purple. I want to see if I can get away with using this blue one. And at least get a six on him. No, okay. I'm trying to be... Not the best rules today. But we should be able to we should be able to use him like this. We didn't have anything uh crazy for this, right? Yeah, we may want to go uh, accuracy instead of resistance. Let's do that. I didn't I, I don't know the math on these rift beasts how much accuracy they need, but we we're at least able to get him over 10,000 HP. As a bruiser with attack on slot 2. Attack crit damage HP over 10,000 HP. And he's not even, um... We weren't able to get attack on here? Oh, yeah, we, we can get attack on here. We got 6 there. How much crit rate does he have? He needs more crit rate, but... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll finish maxing him to... Nice! We dodged skill 1. That's awesome. That's really great. Uh, I would like Weaken uh, upgraded, so I'll feed him some more vampires at some point. You know what? Let's do a Sheer now. We should do some more Lucians too, shouldn't we? Let's do a Sheer. Let's do a Sheer while we're here. A Sheer while we're here. This way I can remember that I wanted to uh, have him built. Right? There we go. Uh, so, we will upgrade him. Well, them, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll see uh, we'll see how he does in some rift beasts. We're, we're basically gonna take him and stick him in the spot where Colleen was. All right, we're fully maxed. Let's take a look at his skills, uh, not his skills, his stats, and we'll see what it looks like when he's fully you. Yeah, we made a couple more six stars too. We did a sheer. We did a what's his face? A sheer. You know what? It doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, Tanky Bruiser. So he's a little on the slow side. He's He could have more crit rate, but he's Tanky Bruiser. Attack, crit damage, HP. Let's take him. Oh, man, I kind of want to max these now. Anyway, because World Boss, right? If you max all his skills and you max uh, everything else, he's going to do nicely in World Boss. Excuse me, because element uh, neutral, right? So we'll take him into Rift of Worlds. We'll do... What's our weakest score? This is our weakest score. Dungeons by third. It's the same. <laughs> the same. Okay. We'll take him in here. I feel like he's going to get trapped a lot. Maybe we should take him in here later. Okay. Let's do a different one first. Let's do 3.7. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We could definitely improve. Wow. We got some crap on this one. <laughs> we got some. I don't have a. I don't have a Renard here, do I? So we can use this, which means we can take Lucian out and we can put something better. Oh, no, 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 no. I have an even better idea. Oh, actually, we don't need... Oh, we don't need you. We don't need you. Oh, my God. We're going to do so much better now. Okay, so we can take Lucian out. We can take uh, Hreisvelg out. Actually, Hreisvelg should be ruined better and in the front line. Uh, we can do... Oh, my goodness. So we can do the twins. And then we can do... Bagel, you're very excited. Who are you going to do? <laughs> She's not a good enough stats. Crow. Crow is who I'm going to do. That's who we're going to do. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do her as well. That's going to be big and juicy. That's going to be big and juicy. Okay. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to see. What was it? 3.7 million? It's going to be so much better. It's going to be so much better now. Oh, it's going to be juicy. Watch, he dies. <laughs> Watch, he dies. Oh, my God. So we have attack power buffs. He's going to do some damage. We should survive, of course. Very nice. Uh, we do need some more attack age increase, though. We're doing plenty of damage. Plenty of damage. Right, so 3.7 is the damage to beat. <laughs> I feel like we're going to get 3.7. I'm not really too concerned about us getting 3.7. Okay, so we have no attack power buffs on him. Now we've got the attack power buffs. Very nice. We are going to be 3 million before even the first groggy state. 
Oh, we all, we are 3.7 million. The first groggy state. We hit the, we hit the end score at the first groggy state. That's how big of a difference. That is how big of a difference that was. Holy moly. Is he gonna die? Hold on. Don't die, man. Oh no, he died! Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. Even tanky, that's not good. Man. That Bernard would be nice here. We don't have a Bernard belt on this account. <clears throat> Bernard would be nice here. That doesn't actually do any damage. We do need to nuke him down though. And without an attack power buff. Oof. Okay, so we're gonna... We don't have a Bernard though. Bernard is great here. So we did do more damage, but we don't have as much sustain. We can make it work though. We can make it work. Yeah, he's just got... We need a little bit more damage. We, we, we need the vampire back, man. He was doing so good. He was doing so good. Okay, we'll take uh, something else in the front line. Yeah, we, 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 we flopped on that. We don't have enough tankiness. We'll take something... Actually, we don't have enough... Uh... <laughs> we didn't kill him, so we don't get a uh, new best score. Okay, we made some modifications. We put uh, Hrazvelg back in there. I didn't want to use him because I was like, I really wanted to do just a single attack power buffer. But we needed something that's going to have some sustain because he's got the heal over here. He's got the attack age increase. He's got the speed buff. He's got another attack power buff. He can sustain in the front line. We have a little bit of HP on him. We try to just get in at subs. So uh, attack for damage attack. Uh, and then we have Irgar. Oh, Irgar is, by the way, he's on. Uh, now he's on attack for damage attack as well. So we're going to try this out. Hopefully we do okay. Uh, but Irgar should be able to sustain. As long as he's got enough tankiness and subs, he should be able to sustain in the front line, especially if his second and third skills are maxed, because his second skill will increase his attack age. So, both the Fengen and the uh, Hrazvelg having element advantage and increasing their own attack age, uh, having mechanics to increase their own attack age is kind of important. So, or it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of key for frontline units. So, we would still like some more tankiness on him, but... Let's see if we can do it like this. Let's see if we can do it. So, 849,000. Let's see how much damage we can get by the first groggy state. We have the defense, uh, we have attack power buff, we have defense break, we have brand. More attack power buffs. And right now, okay, so Yurgo has it again. Oh, maybe, maybe he got teamed up with. Maybe he got teamed up with. So we're at 3 million. Can we get to 4 million? By the end of the first groggy state, can we get to 4 million? Because remember, the best tot, the best score... Okay, so this is like the best score uh, that we had at the end of the whole thing. By the end of the first groggy state. So we're already at a massive advantage as long as we can stay alive. That's kind of the name of the game. Look at that attack age increase right there with the, uh, the race Velg. That was very important. Because we do damage based on the amount of blue, uh, blue there is in our health gauge. So we want to make sure that the uh, with with uh, with that skill, he puts the blue in the uh, in the health gauge, that he freezes us, uh, and then we will do damage based on the amount of blue that's in there. So the more blue, the more damage we uh, the more damage we take. So let's see. So we should be fine. Oh, that's right. There's no man. I'm still. I'm so old. So we got it. We got a new best score, but uh, I forgot that there was not there was one less groggy state than there used to be. Well, so we did get we got like eight hundred thousand more. I wanted more, but I guess we'll take it. Okay, let's go on to uh, this one now. This one we can just do uh, Irgar instead of. Okay, we're gonna try it like this. We have. Twins, we have Water Chimera in the front. I'm still using that attack power. I mean, I know we're using attack power. Uh, the Water Cannon Girl has the same attack power leader skill. But um, but we do, we have the Ear Guardian for the uh, the heal and the attack power buff as well, not just the leader skill. Okay, so Water Chimera did uh, good job. Using your skill three on the AOE. I have to say good job because you know AI. <laughs> you know how AI works. So... Uh, I think we have 5 million orbit. 5 million might be a tough score to beat though, I gotta say. Might be a tough score to beat. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. 
And we were using the homunculus too. Ooh. He does a lot of damage. He does a lot of damage. Let's see. Let's see if we can make it happen though. We can use Crow too. There's a lot of options here. There's a lot of options. We might not even need to use this cannon girl. But I do need something that's got an AoE. You know, Water Camber, maybe Water Camber has got that handled, right? If he can do the AoEs, then uh, if we can beat this, we have a 5.2 million score. Is this going to be enough to kill, or is this, uh, we're going to take some, yeah, we're going to take some damage from these. Don't tell me we die now. Don't tell me we- Oh, we didn't die. Okay. Now we die. Okay, now we don't die. What did we, uh, what did we get, though? I mean, we could have a cleaner... A cleaner run, though. But... We were 30,000. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use Crow now instead of the Water Cannon Girl. He's gonna do more big single target damage, but he's not- He doesn't have any AoEs, right? So, uh, but he's got such big single target damage. We were using, like I said, uh, I think I mentioned this. Oh, we were using the homunculus before, the fire homunculus, and he does a ton of damage. Um, I don't know. Does he have an AoE at some point? Like when he's, b before he's even skilled up, I mean. And I mean the, I actually mean the fire one, not the water one. Like, Bagel, you said fire, you meant water. Like, no. We, I don't think we ever, did we ever switch him to water? We probably should at some point switch him to water, because... It's really solid for TOA. We beat TOA hard 100 uh, on this account, but... Yeah, is, is this just another Crow Spotlight? I feel like this is a Crow Spotlight, right? I feel like this is a Crow Spotlight again. Crow Spotlight 7,527. So, we are at... Oh no, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? We have one AOE. He uses it on the boss. No minions, he used it on the boss. Genius, genius Chimera. I love these AI programmers that come to us, man. One AoE uses it before the minions even come out. Uh, if we can beat this, if we can beat this, we might get a new score, new best score. Okay. What was that? I think that was a new best score. I think it's... <laughs> Crow's doing half the damage. Barely, barely a new best score. But this is like... This is Crow Spotlight. This is the Crow Spotlight, isn't it? I'm, I'm finding it's a Crow... But Irgar is doing okay. He's, 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 he's a part of it. He's contributing the attack power buff. You're gonna laugh at this Light Rift Beast, right? Theo Mars. What are you on? Smack? Attack or damage attack? Eruption? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is uh this is really nice for the wind one, by the way. And yes, take a look at his name. Yes. I'm aware of what I called him. Whitey Pee Pee Butt. Let's go. Uh four. Dark Vampire. Dark Vampire can go in Ooh, but we have him. We want big single target burst damage. I mean, we, we have to stick Crow in there, right? We have to stick Crow in. We're going to take Colleen out. We're going to definitely put Crow in. We need something to be able to survive. We can stick Fire Nagami in there. Should we stick Fire Nagami in there too? This is being a little... Actually, I don't know what runes are on him. Ah, uh, speed. Squall is good. Squall is good here. So we have uh, Dark in the front the front row. He's got some HP on him. He's got 9,700 extra HP. He's got 1,000 uh, defense all day. Uh, well, 1,100 defense all day. I wonder if this is going to be... Oh, by the way, this crow is not even max skills. Uh, I wonder if this is going to be good enough. Let's find out. Let's find out. What were we, uh, 4,000, I mean, 4 million, 700,000? 4.7 million, something like that? 
Let's see. Should be solid, though. Okay, so we got the shield down. The first shield isn't really the problem, though. All right. Now we need some damage. Now we need some defense breaks. We need some defense breaks. We need some... De yeah, there, there you go. There you go. So we got to beat 4.7 million. That's the score to beat. 4.7 million. By the way, guys, this is Europe server alt. This is not like the main or anything. Europe server alt. 4.7... Okay, so we beat 4.7 million. <laughs> we definitely beat 4.7. We were already over 5.3 5 million after Groggy. Now we just need to survive. Almost broke through that shield, but didn't. Oh, Crow's still alive. Crow's still alive. Not for long. Can we survive this, though? Is the question. Nice, oh, he's got another shield now, though. So close. We were so close. So close. Let's try that again now. Because we, ha we have a better score, but... Uh, but we died. We weren't able to actually kill him. Let's try that again. Yeah. By 800,000. So let's go again. Again, a lot of these things aren't fully skilled up. Uh, a lot of these things do not have... Uh, like, if we just stuck fight runes on everything. Easy, right? Fight runes on everything would just do crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of damage. But, uh, yeah. We'll just try the same thing. Same thing. Just try it again. See if we get better RNG. Eruption. I can't like not think about Van Halen when I see that skill. By the way, we have uh, zero support units. We're full DPS. We're full YOLO. All DPS units. Irgar is our support, but also our DPS. That is, uh, that's kind of the distinction. The better the runes, the better this, uh, the better the runes in the towers. Also, our towers aren't fully upgraded. They are, they're a decent amount upgraded though. Uh, I would say about uh, three two thirds, three quarters, somewhere around there, upgraded. Uh, especially the attack and crit damage towers. So four point one million. We're not going to get a new best score, are we? Actually, yeah, we are. We we would still if we if we beat it, we'll still get a new best score. Still not enough. Still not enough. Wait, it's not enough, right? We're not gonna be able to do it. Right? Oh, never mind. We are able to do it. Uh, so that's still a new best score, though. Yep. It's not a great new best score, though. If we just RNG, like I could be, I could try this like a billion times and be like, oh, one of these is new best score. So I'm just trying to like not do it a thousand times to try to only take the one that's the new best score. I'm trying to like just see if we can get a better score just overall. But yeah, uh, so far. And then this is going to be, of course, this is going to be maybe close to, like, if RNG goes fantastically our way, maybe close to 6 million. So, Okay, on to Woodruff Beast. We have 4.8 million on here. Uh, let's take out, so we gotta, we want to, of course, take out uh, Colleen and put in Irgar. We got the Garo in there. It's very important to have. Where is Yergar? Oh, there he is. Uh, we'll stick him in the back because he doesn't have element advantage. We have... How tanky is she? Not tanky enough. She doesn't have enough defense. Is that going to be enough to do the front line? Actually, you know what we can do? We can take the... We can take...
take him out. We put the fire in Gamian. We're missing a lot of heals though, but we got a lot more damage. So I think 4.8 million is what we need. To, is what we need to beat. We'll see. I don't love Garo in here though. I don't love Garo in here. We should have taken. Uh, we should have taken. What's his face? Crow. We should have taken Crow in here. All right. Blood contract. Well, I was gonna take. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me what dies immediately. <laughs> oh my god. Well, doesn't have a lot of defense though. No, don't use that there. Oh my god, we need more. De we need more defense breaks. So this is this is already bad. We need more defense breaks. Uh, crow, 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 crow. Yeah, we need more defense breaks. We need to take crow instead of Garrow. So we're at three million. Not gonna be enough. We need to take crow. Do your thing. We're gonna heal a lot every time we attack. There we go. Heal more. Fully healed. We still need to take Crow though. Crow's gonna be better than Garrow. We missed out on that defense break, which limited our uh, damage potential. This one fell over though. Didn't he? F he fell over. Like a sack of sack of bricks or something. I don't know, but we need to do uh, we need we need to do crow. All right, we got crow instead of Garrow. Let's see how much uh, let's see how much it does. Let's see how much damage it does. Let's see if we can sustain as much as we need to, and 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 get a new best score. We need. Why didn't she use her uh, her muse? Why are you waiting to use a muse? Is that weird? That she used it like uh, after she should have? She used it a little late. Did they change the AI? Did they make the AI worse? Okay, she's like 200,000 with that. So we should, if we can clear it, we're fine. Because we are at 5 million damage. We're at 5.6 million damage. First groggy state, 5.6 million damage. Did a lot of that. Okay, 6 million damage. That beautiful heal. Quahi's amazing here, by the way. Oh, rank one in <laughs> in the guild. 6.6 .6 million damage. Yeah, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. I don't know who I knocked out, but uh, of number one spot. But there we go. Okay, we're here at the Dark Rift Beast, and 3.9 million is the score to beat here. We replaced Colleen with um, Irgar, and we replaced... Abigail with Crow. Abigail did the multi-hits though, and she was the leader skill. So we're gonna see if this can work, otherwise we may need Abigail back for the multi-hits. Do you think Crow and uh, Fire Nagami would do the... would do enough multi-hits though? We may need Abigail. We may need Abigail. She's got a lot of multi-hits, man. And damage. She got a lot of multi hits and damage. She's got like eight hits on her second skill. It's crazy. So let's see. 3.9 is the score to beat. When in doubt, just use uh, Irgar and Crow. And rune efficiency. Rune efficiency, though. That's key. Rune efficiency. Getting a lot of stats out of those runes, a lot of juice out of them. Please defense break, please defense break, please defense break. Oh my, okay, finally, finally, finally. Finally the defense breaks. They got a lot of team ups. We need to get 3.9 million. So we need to get 3 million here. 
would be great. Okay, so we're at 3.2 million. 3.3 3 million. So as long as we as long as we beat it, we should be fine. We should be set with a new best score. Even though honestly, I there's there's still better stuff than uh, than firing Gami here. Another twin, like another like win twin, right? Because Shane, a lot of people have her for more speed. Um, I like the I like the ones that do more more damage though. Like a win twin here would be uh, would be super great. Can we get? Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. We didn't get the soul chain off. There we go. Are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? Don't die. There you go. Okay, so. Four point, uh, four point two. Not too shabby. Everything, we improved everything. We stuck Crow in there, we stuck, I mean, we, let's be real, we did stick Crow in there. Crow was definitely doing his part. Um, making everything better, even if he didn't have the, um, oh, he's not even there. Even though he didn't have, uh, fully maxed skills. And Eargar doesn't have fully maxed skills either, so. Not too shabby. And then we do have, uh, this as well, which we got. Very nice. Alright, we got, uh, one LD scroll. We're gonna get our LD nat 5, and we're gonna call it a day. Damn, Charger Shark. Oh, Charger Shark. We have anything here that we need? No, we don't have anything here that we need. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it for this one. Very fun Eargar. I'm not the only person that ever tried using Eargar in Rift of Worlds. There's lots of people that are already using Eargar in Rift of Worlds uh, because he wasn't really as good before the buff. Um, he wasn't buffed like a week ago or anything. He was buffed like months and months ago to have a three-turn uh, skill three, which is what he really needed to, to shine. But yeah, ever since uh, he was buffed, he's actually a pretty decent unit for the Rift of Worlds. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.